Gladys Maria Knight, known as the Empress of Soul, is an American singer, songwriter, actress, businesswoman, and author. A seven-time Grammy Award winner, Knight is known for the hits she recorded during the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s with her group Gladys Knight and the Pips, which also included her brother Merrill Bubba Knight and cousins William Guest and Edward Patton. Knight has recorded two number one Billboard Hot 100 singles, 11 number one R&B singles, and six number one R&B albums. She has won seven Grammy Awards and is an inductee into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Vocal Group Hall of Fame along with the Pips. Two of her songs were inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame for historical, artistic and significant value. She also recorded the theme song for the 1989 James Bond film License to Kill. Rolling Stone magazine ranked Knight among the 100 greatest singers of all time. Chapter 1 Early Life Knight was born in Atlanta the daughter of Merrill Woodlow Knight Sr., a postal worker, and Sarah Elizabeth. She has an older sister, Brenda, one living brother, Merrill Bubba Jr., and one deceased brother, David. Throughout the late 1940s and early 1950s, she would sing in the church choir. She first achieved minor fame by winning Ted Max the original Amateur Hour TV show contest at the age of eight in 1952. That same year, Gladys, her brother Bubba, sister Brenda, and their cousins Eleanor and William Guest began performing together during Bubba's tenth birthday party after a record player malfunctioned. Shortly, the quintet agreed to form a group under the insistence of Gladys' mother Elizabeth Knight. They settled on the name The Pips, inspired by the nickname of their cousin James Pip Woods. By 1955, the group began performing on the talent show circuit in their hometown of Atlanta, winning each talent show they entered. This success allowed them to get a record contract with Brunswick Records in 1957. At Brunswick, the group released two recordings that failed to chart. Despite this, the group was now opening for top recording acts such as Jackie Wilson, and Sam Cooke. By 1959, Brunswick dropped the group, and both Brenda Knight and Eleanor Guest left the group to begin families. They were replaced by another cousin, Edward Patton, and a friend, Langston George. In 1961, they recorded the Johnny Otis penned every beat of my heart. Because the group was without a record label, a local Atlanta label, Huntum Records, pushed the single and got a distribution deal with VJ Records to release the single. During this time, the group moved to New York, where they auditioned for Bobby Robinson's Fury Records. Upon learning that every beat of my heart was already becoming a hit, and cutting the group out of profits, Robinson had the group re-record the song and re-release it on Fury Records. Both versions made the Billboard charts, with the Huntum slash VJ version reaching number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100. Prior to the re-release on Fury Records, the group changed their name to Gladys Knight and the Pips. Later in 1961, the quintet released the single Letter Full of Tears, which became another top 40 hit in early 1962. After a string of single releases on Fury Records, Langston George left the group in 1962. That same year, Knight left the group to start a family with musician and husband Jimmy Newman. In 1964, she returned to the group, and they signed with Larry Maxwell's Max label, releasing several modest hits produced by Van McCoy, including Lovers Always Forgive and the original version of Giving Up. Other notable songs they released on Max include Another Love, Either Way I Lose, Go Away, Stay Away, Maybe Maybe Baby, Stop and Get a Hold of Myself, Who Knows and If I Should Ever Fall in Love. Chapter 2, Success with the Pips Gladys Knight and the Pips joined the Motown Records roster in 1966, and, although initially regarded as a second-string act by the label, scored several major hit singles, including I Heard It Through the Grapevine, Take Me in Your Arms and Love Me, The Nitty Gritty, Friendship Train, If I Were Your Woman, I Don't Want to Do Wrong, the Grammy Award-winning Neither One of Us, and Daddy Could Swear. In their early Motown career, 
Gladys Knight and the Pips toured as the opening act for Diana Ross and the Supremes. Gladys Knight stated in her memoirs that Ross kicked her off the tour because the audience's reception to Knight's soulful performance overshadowed her. Berry Gordy later told Knight that she was giving his act a hard time. The act left Motown for a better deal with Buddha Records in 1973, and achieved even greater mainstream success that year with hits such as the Grammy winning Midnight Train to Georgia, I've Got to Use My Imagination, The Way We Were Slash Try to Remember, and Best Thing That Ever Happened to Me. In the summer of 1974, Knight and the Pips recorded the soundtrack to the film Claudine with producer Curtis Mayfield, which included the songs On and On, The Makings of You and Make Yours a Happy Home. The act was particularly successful in Europe, and especially the United Kingdom. However, a number of the Buddha singles became hits in the UK several years after their release in the US. For example, Midnight Train to Georgia hit the top five of the UK singles chart in the summer of 1976, a full three years after its success in the US during this period of high profile, Knight acted in the film Pipe Dreams, a romantic drama set in Alaska. The film failed at the box office, but Knight did receive a Golden Globe, Best New Actress nomination. Knight and the Pips continued to have hits until the late 1970s, when they were forced to record separately due to legal issues, resulting in Knight's first solo LP recordings, Miss Gladys Knight on Buddha and Gladys Knight on Columbia Records. After divorcing James Newman II in 1973, Knight married Barry Hankerson, then Detroit Mayor Coleman Young's executive aide. Knight and Hankerson remained married for four years, during which time they had a son, Shanga Ali. Hankerson and Knight became embroiled in a heated custody battle over Shanga Ali. In 1980, Johnny Mathis invited Knight to record two duets, When a Child is Born and The Lord's Prayer. Signing with Columbia Records in 1980 and restored to its familiar quartet form, Gladys Knight and the Pips began releasing new material. The act enlisted former Motown producers Nicholas Ashford and Valerie Simpson for their first two albums, About Love, which included the hit Landlord and Touch. In 1983, Gladys Knight and the Pips score again with the hit Save the Overtime. The song, under the artistic direction of Leon Silver's Three, was done in a soulful boogie style. The single was released from their LP Visions and reached number 66 on the Hot 100, but was more successful on the R&B where it hit number one for a single week in mid-1983. The single was the first time the group hit number one on the R&B chart since 1974. The video accompanying the song became among the earliest R&B videos to incorporate elements of hip-hop culture. The album also included the R&B hit Your Number One. During this period, Knight kicked a gambling addiction to the game Baccarat. In 1987, Knight decided to pursue a solo career, and she and the Pips recorded their final LP together, All Our Love, for MCA Records. Its infectious lead single, Love Overboard, was a number one R&B hit and won another Grammy for the act as well. After a successful 1988 tour, the Pips retired and Knight began her solo career. Gladys Knight and the Pips were inducted into the Georgia Music Hall of Fame in 1989, into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1996 and the Vocal Group Hall of Fame in 2001. Chapter 3, Solo Music Career while still with the Pips, Gladys Knight joined with Dionne Warwick, Stevie Wonder, and Elton John on the 1985 AIDS Benefit single, That's What Friends Are For, a triple number one mega hit, which won a Grammy for Best Pop Performance by a Duo, or Group with Vocal. Knight shared a stage with Dionne Warwick and Patti LaBelle for the 1986 HBO special Sisters in the Name of Love. On March 27, 1988, Knight performed a rendition of America the Beautiful at WrestleMania IV in Atlantic City, New Jersey. In 1989, she recorded License to Kill, the title track for James Bond film of the same name, a top 10 hit in the UK and Germany. Knight released her third and most successful solo LP, Good Woman, on MCA in 1991, which hit number one on the R&B album chart, 
featured the number two R&B hit Men, and reached number 45 on the main Billboard album chart, her all-time highest showing. The album also featured Superwoman, written by Babyface and featuring Dionne Warwick and Patti LaBelle, the track was nominated for a Grammy. Knight and LaBelle collaborated the same year on I Don't Do Duets, for LaBelle's album Burnin'. Also in 1991, Knight performed the national anthem at Game One of the World Series. Her fourth solo album, Just For You, went gold and was nominated for the 1995 Grammy Award for Best R&B Album. Knight created and now directs the Mormon-themed Choir Saints Unified Voices. SUV has released a Grammy Award-winning CD titled One Voice, and occasionally performs at LDS Church Firesides. In April 2004, Knight performed during the VH1's Benefit Concert Divas Live 2004 alongside Ashanti, Cindy Lauper, Jessica Simpson, Joss Stone, and Patti LaBelle, in support of the Save the Music Foundation. In 2005 a duet between Knight and Ray Charles of You Were There was released on Charles' duet's album Genius and Friends. In the spring of 2008, Knight appeared alongside Shaka Khan, Patti LaBelle and Diana Ross at the Divas with Heart concert in aid of cardiac research, at New York's Radio City Hall. Also in 2008 Gladys, Jack Black, Robert Downey Jr. and Ben Stiller performed on American Idol to raise money for charity. In 2009 Knight sang His Eyes on the Sparrow and the Lord's Prayer at the funeral service for Michael Jackson. In March 2010, Randy Jackson mentioned on a new episode of the same show that he is back in the studio with Gladys Knight working on a new album. In December 2010, Knight released the single Settle. In September 2011, a new, updated recording of Tom Jones's 1970 classic I was released on iTunes and Amazon. In 2013, Knight recorded the Lenny Kravitz written and produced song You and I Ain't Nothing No More for the soundtrack from Lee Daniels' motion picture The Butler. The song was added to the movie's soundtrack of older songs with various artists so the producers could nominate it for Best Song from a Motion Picture category at the Academy Awards. Where My Heart Belongs marked her 30th Top 40 R&B album, including work by Gladys Knight and The Pips. In a 2014 interview, she expressed a hope that women would stand up and stop selling sex in the music-slash-entertainment industry. She commented that the growing trend saddened her heart, and that she had been taught to dress respectfully for her audiences, not take it off, put it on. Knight is ranked number 18 on VH1 Network's list of the 100 Greatest Women of Rock. In 2019, Knight accepted an invitation to sing the national anthem at Super Bowl 53. She faced criticism for agreeing to perform due to the alleged blacklisting of Colin Kaepernick by the National Football League after he began protesting police brutality during pre-game anthem ceremonies. Similar criticism was expressed against the halftime show performers Maroon 5, Travis Scott, and Big Boy. Knight defended her decision to sing, claiming to understand Kaepernick's reasons for protesting but criticizing him for kneeling during the national anthem. In 2019, Knight was invited to play at the 100th anniversary of Delaware State Fair, located in Harrington, Delaware. Chapter 3 Section 1, UK Farewell Tour In October 2009, Knight started her farewell tour of the United Kingdom which featured Tito Jackson as her supporting act and special appearances by Dionne Warwick. The UK farewell tour featured higher production values than previous Gladys Knight, a mic and a light appearances by Knight in the UK. A glossy program was available and the show featured pre-produced animation on large on-stage screens. The tour was promoted by an appearance on the TV program later. With Jules Holland where Knight performed If I Were Your Woman and Help Me Make It Through the Night. At select performances on the UK Farewell Tour recordings of the concerts were made available for sale on USB flash drives. In spite of her farewell, Knight started touring the UK again a few years later, playing gigs in Scotland and England in 2015, 20,162,017 and 2019. Chapter 4 Acting Chapter 4 Section 1, Film 
In 1976, Knight made her acting debut as the lead in the film Pipe Dreams for which she was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year, actress. In 2003, she had a small role in the movie Hollywood Homicide, which starred Harrison Ford and Josh Hartnett. In 2009, Knight was featured in Tyler Perry's I Can Do Bad All By Myself, the film version of a play he had dramatized, and performed her song The Need To Be from the 1974 album I Feel A Song. Chapter 4 Section 2 Television In 1975, Knight starred in a variety show, The Gladys Knight and the Pips Show, which was cancelled after four episodes. She also guest starred on several TV series throughout the 1980s and 1990s, appearing on Benson, The Jeffersons, A Different World, Living Single, The Jamie Foxx Show, and New York Undercover. In 1985, she co-starred on the CBS sitcom Charlie and Company, alongside comedian Flip Wilson, which lasted for one season. In April 2005, she portrayed a singer in an episode of Jag. In April 2009, she made a special guest appearance, and performed a song, on Tyler Perry's House of Pain. Knight has also made a number of cameo appearances, including on Las Vegas and 30 Rock. In 2012, she began a recurring role in the syndicated sitcom The First Family. In 2012, Knight competed on season 14 of Dancing with the Stars, partnered with Tristan McManus. They were eliminated on April 24 after losing a dance duel to Disney Channel star Roshan Fagan and partner Chelsea Hightower, ironically on the show's Motown Week. In 2017, she appeared as herself in the musical drama TV series Star. In 2018, she played Ella Grover, mother of Captain Lou Grover, in the Lele Puna Manu like episode of Hawaii 5 0, which first aired on November 16, 2018. In February 2019, she was revealed to be the Beyond the Masked singer, in which she placed third. She performed Chandelier, Locked Out of Heaven, Wrecking Ball, What's Love Got to Do With It, A Natural Woman, and I Can't Make You Love Me. Chapter 5, Gladys Knight and Ron Winans' Chicken and Waffles Knight's son Shanga Hankerson owns a chain of chicken and waffles restaurants based in Atlanta, bearing her name. Gladys Knight and Ron Winans Chicken and Waffles currently have three locations in the Atlanta area. One location was featured on the Travel Channel original series Man V. Food? On Tuesday, June 21, 2016, authorities in Georgia raided two of the restaurants and its headquarters. WSB-TV reported that Shanghai is at the center of an investigation involving unpaid taxes, penalties and interest. Georgia Department of Revenue Special Investigations Chief Jeff Mitchell told the station that the investigation solely involved Hankerson and not Knight. Shanga's accused of stealing over $650,000 in both sales and withholding tax, Josh Waits, a special investigator, told WSB-TV. Penalties and interest, it's up to over $1 million owed. Chapter 6, Personal Life Knight has been married four times and has three children. At 16 years old, she became pregnant and married Atlanta musician and classmate James Jimmy Newman in 1960. She had a miscarriage, the couple went on to have two children. Newman became a drug addict and abandoned the family when Knight was 20. They remained married for over 12 years until 1973. Their son, James Jimmy Gaston Newman III was born on August 13, 1962. She retired from the road to raise their child while the Pips toured on their own. In November 1963, Knight had her only daughter, Kenya Maria Newman. Later she returned to recording with the Pips in order to support her family. In the early 1960s, Gladys, James, and the Pips moved to Detroit. Knight and her family lived on Sherborne Road in Sherwood Forest, an upscale neighborhood on Detroit's west side. She also resided on LaSalle Avenue for a time. Her children attended Jesu Catholic grade school. After being separated seven years, Knight divorced Newman in 1973, 
and he died a few years later. In 1974, Knight married Barry Hankerson in Detroit. The couple had one son, Shanga Ali Hankerson, born on August 1, 1976. Around 1977, they relocated to Atlanta. The Pips remained in Detroit. Their marriage ended in 1979 with a prolonged custody battle over their son. Knight spent over a million dollars looking for her son after he was kidnapped. In 1995, Knight married motivational speaker Les Brown, but they separated and divorced in 1997. Knight suffered through a gambling addiction that lasted more than a decade. In the late 1980s, after losing $60,000 in one night at the Baccarat table, she joined Gamblers Anonymous, which helped her quit the habit. Previously a Baptist, in 1997 she was baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, following her son and daughter joining the LDS Church. She had occasionally teased LDS President Gordon B. Hinckley, saying his flock needed to inject some pep into their music. He agreed, which resulted in the Grammy Award winning Saints Unified Voices Gospel Music Choir being formed. Knight later led the B1 Choir at B140th anniversary celebration of the Revelation on the Priesthood. Knight's son Jimmy Newman managed her career through his Newman Management Incorporated until his death from heart failure on July 10, 1999 at age 36. Newman was survived by his wife, Micheline, daughters Nastasia and Gabrielle, and sons Rishon, Stefan, and Sterling. Knight married William McDowell in 2001. They have 17 grandchildren and 10 great-grandchildren between them. Knight and McDowell reside in Asheville, North Carolina, near where they own a community center, the former Reynolds High School in Canton attended by McDowell. In 2017, Knight helped raise $400,000 for the Children's Learning Centers of Fairfield County. The event was held at the Palace Theatre and was co-hosted by Carol and Riddle and Alan Calter. Chapter 7, Legacy In 1996, Gladys Knight and the Pips were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. One year before, Knight had received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2007, Knight received the Society of Singers Ella Award at which time she was declared the Empress of Soul. She is listed on Rolling Stone's list of the greatest singers of all time. Chapter 8, Discography Studio Albums Miss Gladys Knight Gladys Knight Good Woman Just For You Many Different Roads At Last One Voice Before Me Another Journey Where My Heart Belongs Chapter 9, Published Works Knight, Gladys At Home with Gladys Knight, McGraw-Hill, 2001, ISBN 158040752 Knight, Gladys Between Each Line of Pain and Glory, My Life Story, Hyperion Press, 1998, ISBN 0768873715 Chapter 10, Filmography Chapter 10 Section 1, Films Chapter 10 Section 2, Television Chapter 11, Awards, Honors, and Achievements Chapter 11 Section 1, Grammy Awards Knight has won seven Grammys with 22 nominations altogether. Chapter 11 Section 2, Other Awards and Honors 1992, Essence Award for Career Achievement 1995, Hollywood Walk of Fame 1997, Trumpet Awards Foundation Pinnacle Award 2005, BT Lifetime Achievement Award 2007, NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Jazz Artist 2007, Society of Singers Ella Award also declared the Empress of Soul. 2008, BT Inaugural Best Living Legend Award. 2008, National Black Arts Festival Honoree at Legends Celebration. 2011, 
Soul Train Music Awards Lifetime Achievement Award. 2019, Golden Plate Award of the American Academy of Achievement presented by Awards Council member Dr. Ben Carson. Chapter 11 Section 3, Honorary Degrees. Honorary Doctorate in Performing Arts, Shaw University.